Hello everyone and welcome to our class video about angle types on parallel lines. Our learning goal for this video is that you'll be able to name types of angle pairs on parallel lines. Imagine that. So, so far we've been looking at the algebraic side of parallel and perpendicular lines, that is their slopes and equations. In this video we're going to transition into looking at the geometric side of angles on parallel lines. Okay, so here we go. We need to define some basic terms first. Okay, so parallel lines, we've already kind of defined them, would have a definition like this. Parallel lines are lines in the same plane that never intersect. Now, why do I have to specify that they are in the same plane? Is it possible for them to never intersect and be in different planes? Yes, in fact, that's what skew lines are. Skew lines are lines in different planes that never intersect. What would that look like? Well, let me illustrate using this prism that I've placed on your paper. Okay, so let's consider the line that includes this edge of the prism. Then let's consider the line that forms this edge. Will those lines ever intersect? No, because they are one is elevated higher than the other. So, because of this, those will never intersect, even though they're going in different directions. Okay, we have one last term to define. That's transversal. A transversal is a line that intersects two or more lines. Okay, so what is the transversal in the picture here? The line that intersects two or more lines is line H. That's the transversal. Ah. All right. So, all right. So now let's begin talking about different types of angle pairs. We use specific descriptors to identify the different types of angle pairs. Okay. So each angle pair could be either interior or exterior. So interior means similar to how you might think. Inside the two lines, kind of like if you were doing painting on the interior of the house, that is inside, or think of a car interior. Okay, it might have a leather interior. So angles that are interior are both between the two lines. Okay, so that might be that angle and that angle. Those are interior angles. Okay, then some angles are exterior or both outside the two lines. So if an angle pair is exterior, we might have, for example, one up here and one down there. Both of those are outside the two lines. Angle pairs can also be either alternate or same side. This talks about their relative position to each other. Alternate angles are on opposite sides of the transversal. Okay, so I'll illustrate that by writing the word alternate crossing the transversal thus. Okay, so a pair of alternate angles might be this one and that one. Those are on opposite sides of the transversal. Angles can also be same side. So these, rather obviously, are on the same side of the transversal. Sometimes in other textbooks, You'll hear this called consecutive angles, so just watch out for that word. All right, so I'll, I'll illustrate same side angles like that, showing that it doesn't cross the transversal. An example might be this angle and that angle. Okay, so now let's put some of those words together. So. Let's take, for example, 
an angle pair that is alternate and interior. So this means they need to be both inside the two lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. For example, which angle is alternate interior to angle 4? Well, the only other angle that is inside the two lines and on the opposite side of our transversal H is angle 5. That's an example of alternate interior angles. Now, it's also possible to be in two other locations, namely 3 and 6. I won't leave those angle marks up, though, because that could be kind of confusing. But I hope you guys can see the angle 3 and angle 6 are also alternate interior, opposite sides of the transversal and both interior. Okay, this is where if you have different colors it might come in handy. So let's look at some alternate exterior angles. So, hmm, which angle is alternate exterior to angle 2? Well, the only other angle that is exterior and also on opposite sides of the transversal is angle 7. Now, notice, you know, I should mention, why did I not say angle 1? Well, we already have a name for angle 1 and angle 2, don't we? It's a linear pair. So, there's no point in giving a new name to something we already have a name for. So, we're going to reserve the term linear pair for that, especially because they're adjacent and at the same intersection. We're more talking about angles that are on different intersections. Okay, glad I clarified that. So, we can say that angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles. Can you identify the other pair? The other pair of angles that are on opposite sides of the transversal and both exterior are angle 1 and angle 8. Okay, let's look at same side interior angles. And these are angles on the same side and both interior. So, which one is the same side interior angle of angle 3? Well, that would be angle 5. They're both on the left-hand side of to the transversal H, and they're both in between on the interior of lines M and N. So, angle 3 and angle 5 are an example of same side interior angles. The other is angle 4 and angle 6. Now, before I tell you the answer for same side exterior angles, can you figure it out? Pause the video if you think you can. So, if we look at the same side exterior angles, these would be angle 1 and angle 7, same side of the transversal and on the outside of the two lines, or we could also say angle 2 and angle 8. Okay, there's one more to talk about. That's corresponding angles. These angles are in the same corner of different intersections. So what do exactly do I mean by that? Well, let's take, for example, angle 1. Okay, so which angle is in the same corner as angle 1, but at the other intersection? Well, angle 1 is in the upper left-hand corner of that intersection. If I look at the other intersection, the angle that's in the upper left-hand corner is angle 5. So, angle 1 corresponds to angle 5. We could also say that angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles. They're in the upper right-hand corner of each intersection. Angle 3... Oops, it looks like the video accidentally paused there. Okay, so I don't know where exactly it was at, but I'll say that, okay, we got corresponding angles 1 and 5, upper left-hand corner. Angles 2 and 6, upper right-hand corner. Angles 3 and 7, lower left-hand corner. And angles 4 and 8, in the lower right hand corner. Okay, so now let's look at a couple examples. So, pardon me while I clear some of that out. Okay, so it can be helpful in these cases. 
when you're looking at more complicated diagrams to identify which lines and which transversal the two angles are on. So let's say, for example, we want to find what type of pair angle 4 and angle 5 are. Well, let's identify what lines they're on. Angle 4 is on line B, and angle 5 is on line C. The transversal they're on is line A. Okay, this is the line that both of them are touching. Okay, we recognize that both of them are interior angles and also on opposite sides. So these are an alternate interior angle pair. Okay, so what about the next one? Angle 4 and angle 6. Okay, angle 4 is on line B. Angle 6 is on line D. And they're both on transversal A. Okay, these are both in the same corner, the lower right-hand corner, so these are corresponding angles. Lastly, if we look at angles 3 and 6, angle 3 being on line B, angle 6 being on line D, still transversal A, they're both on the same side of the transversal, and they are both exterior. So these are same side exterior angles. All right, let's look at one more example. This picture is a little more difficult to see because the lines stop at the transversal in a lot of cases. Angle one and angle two. Hmm. So we can pick the pick out the transversal first. That's the line that both of them are on. That would be line AC. All right. So then the other lines that they're on, okay, is angle one's on AB, and angle two is on CE. Once I've drawn that in, if you tilt your head, can you see it? These are alternate interior angles. Okay, so let's look at angles 2 and 3. These are both on line CE, so that's our transversal. They're also on lines AC oops, and DE. Okay, so if you tilt your head the other way, okay, you can see that these also are alternate interior angles. Last one. If we go angle 4 and angle 5, what line are both of them on? They're both on line BD. Okay, angle 4 is on line AC, angle 5 is on line DE. Can you tell what kind of angle pair these are? They're both in the same corner, the lower left-hand corner, so they're corresponding angles. Okay, well, we'll be looking at some more examples in class. I know this can be a little difficult to pick up at first, but you'll get it. All right, so I'll see you guys in class.